there, I've got two decoupage projects for you today and one bonus project. I'm going to use beautiful napkins from Vippy's Designs and some things I got from the Dollar Tree. It's fast, it's easy, and I'm going to give you some good tips. Let's get started. So for my first card, I'm just using white index card, just a white plain card stock, and I cut it to size. I folded it in half, and I made sure that when I cut it down to size, that it would fit an envelope, and this is a four bar size. Now, I'm going to be using Saran Wrap in this video. I'm not going to be using Mod Podge at all, and we're going to be using the iron-on method. There's my Cricut. I'm just waiting for that to turn green, then I know it's going to be ready. All right, I picked a beautiful napkin from Vippy's Designs, and I love it because the print goes straight across two panels and nothing is cut off. So I am going to cut the napkin in half, which means I'm going to be taking two of the panels, and I'm going to put the other two off to side for another project. All right, now I want to do really good placement on this, but I need to be able to see through the napkin. And remember, with decoupage, we only use the top printed layer, little Mod Podge up in the fingers, up in the corner, and those two back plies come right off. Now this napkin is beautifully sheer, and I can put perfect placement of exactly where I want it. Now, before I go ahead and do that, I want to lay down a piece of saran wrap. Okay, that's right. You heard me correctly. Correctly, I said saran wrap and I'm going to smooth it down really well like that taunt and now I can place the napkin down where I want and I'm thinking that I want to get that dragonfly so I'm going to move it around and I think I like that placement so I'm going to leave it right there and I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper. This is baking parchment. I'm going to put it on top. This is going to protect the card that actually the napkin and it's going to protect the iron and my iron is green which means it's ready to go so i'm just going to start to run my iron over this and you don't want to go too quick i know i'm showing this speed it up but really don't go too quick that plastic wrap is melting underneath that iron the heat of the iron and it's going to adhere perfectly off the parchment paper and I'm going to show you that the napkin adhered really well to the front of the card. Doesn't that look great? All right, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to pull off this plastic wrap, which is also saran wrap, and I'm going to go all the way around the edge of the card until the only thing I'm left with is the piece of napkin that's hanging off the card. Now, if you're wondering why it was so easy for me to remove the plastic wrap, it's because it's awesome. Matt, I'm giving you information. You're going to love that, Matt. And I'll give you information on my little craft iron as well. Alrighty, so now we're going to take our scissor and it really helps to have a good paper scissor when you're doing this and I'm just going to follow the edge of the card until I've removed all of that excess napkin. Alrighty, let's take a look. Oh, and you can save that napkin for other projects. I want to clean up the edges of the card, so I'm going to use my awesome finger sander. I love it, but that piece of sandpaper is dirty, but it's so easy to replace. Just pull it off, and the little sander, it comes with extra pieces of sandpaper, and it's held on by Velcro, so it's so easy to replace. I put the information for this down below. You're going to need to have that with your crafting supplies. So I'm gently going down the edges of the card, removing the excess napkin, but I have to tell you, I really do need a pair of good paper scissors. So I'm calling on my crafting friends out there. Can you please recommend a good scissor that I can use to cut paper, even though I love my little sander? All right, so the edges are done. And we'll take a look, and it's blank inside, which means you can write a nice sentiment. Or if you like me and you have tons of rubber stamps, you can also do a nice stamp on the inside. I'm going to do a matching napkin envelope. And I'm going to tell you, if you put the napkin on the envelope, don't put it in the mail. Rather, hand it to somebody because I don't think a napkin envelope is going to get through the mail without getting damaged. All right, I have my plastic wrap, and I'm going to put it over the envelope just like I did the card. 
And here is the napkin. It's the same napkin, so they're going to match. I've removed the back plies already, and now I just have that top beautiful printed layer. And I can see through it, and I can put the napkin where I want. And as you can see, I'm going up to the fold of the envelope flap. I'm going to put on my piece of parchment. That's baking parchment. My iron is ready to go, and I'm going to start to run it over the parchment paper. And I want to give you a tip. Make sure that that parchment paper is covering all of the plastic wrap. You don't want it melting onto your iron. That can be a very big mess. So I'm ironing it till I know that the plastic wrap has melted and that napkin is well adhered. Let's peel it off and let's take a look. Alrighty, I'm going to fold it over and pull off the plastic. But as you can see, the plastic is not pulling off. And why is that? Because I used a more expensive plastic wrap. You want to use the cheapest plastic wrap, the thinnest that you can find. It makes it much easier to remove. So I'm going to have to get my scissor. And this is actually a fabric scissor my sister gave me. And when she sees this video, I know she's going to scream. So crafting friends, I really, I need your help out there. Can you please, please tell me a good name of a paper scissor? And I'm just following the edge of the card until I've removed the extra napkin and the plastic wrap. All right, let's turn it over and take a look. Oh, that's really nice. I gotta finish that corner there. My napkin card and envelope are all done now. Wasn't that fast and easy? I love how this came out. It's so, so pretty. And I used a beautiful napkin from Vippy's Designs. And how did I make this? It was so easy. I used my Cricut Craft Iron and regular plastic wrap. But remember, try to use the thinnest plastic wrap that you can find, all right? I have more samples I'm going to show you at the end. But now on to project number two. On to project number two. I'm using a wood egg I got from the Dollar Tree and I think they come in like packs of eight and I'm going to be using plastic wrap again. That's going to be my adhesive. You know, I didn't think it was going to work, but the plastic wrap with my little craft iron really got the napkin to adhere well to the little egg, a wooden egg. So I'm putting the plastic wrap on top of the egg and again, I'm going to pull it nice and taunt. This is the napkin I chose, lavender, beautiful napkin from Vippy's Designs. I removed those back plies because remember with decoupage, we only use the top printed layer. And I'm going to line it up to where I want. And that looks pretty good. And again, I'm going to take my baking parchment, put it over everything, including that plastic wrap. We don't want that to melt onto our iron. And we're going to start to run the iron over the parchment and you just want to make sure because it's on wood that it completely adheres but boy when it does it looks so good all right now that i'm done i'm going to give it just a little bit to cool off and now i'm going to remove the parchment and then i'm going to turn it over let's take a look Ooh, that looks so nice. I love it. All right, now we need to remove the edge, and I am going to go back and use my little sander again. This really worked good on the wood. I love this sander. Look at that. The sandpaper can get changed, and I put that link down below. I'm going to use a downward stroke, and I'm going to remove all that extra plastic and napkin from the edge, and I'm going to have a nice, nice clean edge when I'm completely done. So I'm going to go all the way around. Plastic wrap takes a little bit more time to go through both layers, but let's take a look. Oh, I love that it came out so nice. And there's the beautiful napkin I used from Vippy's Designs. Okay, crafting friends, I love this technique so much. I decided to do a second one and I found another cute napkin from Vippy's Designs. So I took the napkin and once again, I removed those bottom two unprinted layers. And now I can line up the bunny, which looks like it fits perfectly on the egg. I'm putting my saran wrap down. Always remember to put your saran wrap down first and ask me why I know that. And it's because I didn't do it the other day. I put it on top of the napkin and it did not work. So now I'm covering it with the, per the baking parchment. Make sure it's baking parchment. I'm going to go over the whole parchment paper. Make sure the parchment paper covers the saran wrap. Make sure you do those edges. Let it cool, and I'm going to remove the parchment paper. Oh, that's so cute. I love that bunny. Alrighty, and now, very nice. 
it's time to remove the edges. And when I do sanding, I always put a paper plate under what I'm working on because I love this new silicone pads I've been working on and I don't want the sanding to get onto the mat. So I'm using my awesome little finger sander and I'm going all the way around the edge and the napkin and the little piece of saran wrap is coming right off very easily. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, that's so cute. That would definitely make a perfect Easter ornament. And there's the lovely, cute little napkin I got from Dippies. All right, here's a fun option that I use this beautiful napkin on. And what I did is I painted it white. On the other ones, I just used a natural side, but on this one, I decided to paint it white. And then I left the other side unpainted and did it again. I wanted you to see the difference. And that looks actually hand painted. But again, it's all a matter of preference. If you want to paint it or not, both look absolutely beautiful. A quick look at all three eggs, the lavender, the cute bunny, and these beautiful flowers. Love them. Bonus project. All right, I used another Dollar Tree item, which is also a wooden egg. They come pre-painted. I'm going to leave it that way. This time, I'm going to be using a window cling. I'm not putting it on the windows. I'm going to put it onto the wooden egg, and I'm going to use my Cricut iron, and it absolutely works. Wait until you see. All right, so this is the window cling, and what I'm going to do is I want to show you something about these clings, and that one wasn't working. Let's see if this one um, that I didn't like. I didn't like that you can see that clear part that goes around the image, so I decided I'm going to cut that part off or as close as I can. So my suggestion is leave it on the cardstock and take a good pair of scissors. These are good because they're sharp and they're small, and I'm going to trim all the way around as close as I can to the image on of the window cling. To save some time, I've already cut this window cling, uh, removing all of that clear edge that goes around. I did the best that I can. There's still a little bit there, but that's okay. And I'm going to put it on top of this blue egg from the Dollar Tree. And remember, I didn't paint these. I left them the colors. I loved how the window cling looked on top with that little bit of blue peeking through. So here's my piece of baking parchment, always baking parchment. I'm going to put that on top. And there's my Cricut iron, it's green, so that means it's ready to go, and I am using the highest setting. So I'm going to very slowly this time go over the image, the um, egg with the baking parchment on top. This is not a napkin, this is going to take a little bit longer. So I want you to take your time because you want the window cling to be well adhered. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to give this a little bit of time to cool off and then I'm going to remove the parchment paper and let's take a look. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. All right, up there in that corner, I see that. That's a little bit hanging off, but that's okay. Just going to put my parchment paper back on top. I'm going to iron it a little bit and let's take a look. Oh, that's perfect. I love that blue peeking through. It really looks cute. Looks very, very vintage. And speaking of vintage, I absolutely loved this rabbit. This is a window cling too. It's so vintage on top of the yellow. I love how it came out. This is so much fun. Get your hands on some window clings. In my first two projects, I used ordinary plastic wrap and my Cricut crafting iron. I took a beautiful napkin and some plain cardstock and I made a beautiful napkin card. And you can use any napkins that you have for any occasions. If you're a card maker or a paper crafter, using napkins can open up a lot of possibilities. I don't know about you, but I have lots and lots of rubber stamps. So you can use them for inside your card. So think mother Day. Think Easter, Christmas, birthdays, so many different occasions that you can use your napkins and make these beautiful cards and envelopes. 
For project number two, I also used the plastic wrap, which is now my adhesive, and I used my Cricut iron. I got some eggs, wood eggs from the Dollar Tree, and some beautiful napkins from Vippies. Here's the little bunny one. I add a little flower, did a little paint around the edges. Another beautiful napkin. This one is lavender. Same thing, I add a little bit of embellishment on top. Now, on this napkin and this egg, I gave you a couple options. You could do one side unpainted, or you can try by painting white and then putting the napkin on top. And for my final project, I actually made these using window clings. I got these from the Dollar Tree and the eggs came from the Dollar Tree also and I didn't even paint them. But look how cute they came out. I add a little bit of embellishment. And let me tell you, this project took all of maybe 30 seconds to complete and it looks so great. I love how these window clings look on those Dollar Tree eggs. I had so much fun making this video, showing you different things that you can do using your napkins, like the cards and the little signs. If you like these kinds of projects, especially if you're a beginner, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Follow and share with your friends. And don't forget to also follow me, see more stuff on my Facebook page and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching.